All right, amazing artists. Today you're gonna get back your crayon and you should have your piece, your name tag on it. Just take your name tag and set it on your little piece of paper or on your table so that it's out of the way. Today we're gonna be painting the lines on our crayon to make it look more realistic, like a real crayon. I want you to feel successful with this. So if you think using Sharpie would be better for you, you can use a Sharpie. If you want to paint it, you can paint it. I want you to choose whichever method that is gonna work best for you and I'll show you a couple examples. So layer two will be the lines on the top of the crayon and the bottom of the crayon and then the oval. We're gonna paint that black or draw it black with Sharpie. So if you are doing this, what I recommend doing first is drawing your lines with your pencil so you can see where you're gonna be using the Sharpie or the paint. So I'm going to draw the first one on the top and I try to look at where the cone ends. That's where your first line should be, where we taped that cone piece on. And I'll do a second line at the bottom. And the nice thing is, is that if your lines aren't perfectly straight, that's okay. Because as you could see on the crayon here, it's actually a wavy line. Um, so I always try to keep that in mind. And I'm going to do this side. The, towards the very bottom of my crayon should be one line and then one above it. If you need help drawing the oval, I am happy to help you. I usually look at what side is the best for where I want to put the oval and I just draw it right on there. There we go. Now I realize you might not be able to see that perfectly, but I can see it so I know where I'm ready to paint. When you paint, you're gonna to come to the middle table in the room, that's where the black paint will be and the placemats. You only need a little bit, a dime-sized dollop, not too much. And I picked a brush, I'm giving you guys short brushes so they're really easy to control and they don't go flimsy on you. You just wanna take a little bit on the tip of the brush so you're ready to paint. And I would start at the top and just kind of work your way around slowly, okay? You wanna make sure you do your two lines and that they touch. I can always go over this again, pick up a little more paint. And then you wanna do the oval. Make sure you fill the oval in entirely black. I had a few students forget that. And it just looks like it's unfinished then. Okay, I'm gonna hold it now from the tip and I'm gonna outline that oval. That way I, all I have to do is fill it in, but don't forget to fill it in, okay? And then I will finish my last two stripes. Now, nowhere did I get any paint on my hands because this is pretty easy. You can hold it from the tip or you can hold it from the bottom. And if you go slow, you should be able to do this without making too much of a mess. If you get paint on your hands, please wash it off and please be responsible and take care of it quickly. If you get paint on the table, please wash it off and be responsible and take care of it quickly. Okay? All right. Then when you're all done, you're gonna set them back on the back counter where we put them last week after we painted. You want to bring your name tag with you. Now I'm gonna lift the camera for a second because I want to show you your options. I can help you with the final step once it's dry, but here are some students who finished last week. So if you want your name in the middle, all I want you to do is circle it on the piece of tape that I gave you. So for mine, if I want my name, I'm going to circle it with a Sharpie or my pencil. If you want to write somebody else's name in the center, like Callie wants to write mom, she took another piece of tape and wrote it right below her name so that I knew to write mom on there. If you don't want anything, your name or somebody else's name, you just want it to say Crayola, just leave your name tag as it is and I will assume that you wanna write Crayola. Now this student chose to do the Sharpie and it turned out great. Her lines, she was able to control. She preferred to not paint. And these two students painted and they look great as well. So it is your choice whether you paint or you decide to use the Sharpie. All right? 
And when you finish all that, there is a sketchbook challenge which will be posted on the board. Your sketchbooks will be available to you. And we are trying to draw once a month in our sketchbook. So we did something in October and we're gonna be doing something in November. So if you don't finish that sketchbook entry today, you can finish next time. All right, let's transition to the art room and get started right away.